so I screwed up the title card yesterday. I did, it happens, okay? Just, that's how these things work. I screwed up the title card and I'm sorry. So, today's captain's blog is made possible by a grant from Billy Dorfner. Billy Dorfner is the guy who made everything happen today and for him we are deeply grateful. So today's captain's blog is brought to you entirely by Billy Dorfner. Thank you sir, you have fun. We're gonna do that thing we do now. All right.
Okay, we're cleaned up a bit. There's lots of little metal pokey things. Hey, stupid! Elise, did you go outside? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Hi. What you doing? What you doing? Other problems outside. See you later. In. Okay. And the gang's all here. Fuck it. Hi there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Vlog. It's 1223 hours on Thursday, November 10th, 2016. And we're about to enter the purple phase. The purple phase. This will be the last paint color that I put on the forklift. A lot of people have asked me, why are you putting purple on it? I'm putting purple on it for mom. Because it was Mum who said, your forklift looks like hell, you should make it look better, you should clean it up. So this entire forklift overhaul project, this whole thing, is just for Mum. Now there are people out there who will ask, why the hell would you do that all for Mum? Obviously you've never met Mum. If Mum says, fix this, you do it. Are people giving a shit about Mom? Huh? Nobody dares give a shit about Mom. Just there are people that don't know Mom, and to know Mom is to love Mom, and you do what she has. And Mom likes purple, so, so the forklift will get purple for Mom. Here's the question of the day, Chris. What is Moose taller than her mom? Nobody is taller than Mom. Mom is 10 foot tall and bulletproof. You know what happens when you get taller than mom? Nobody gets taller than mom. Then you get to call her minimal. Oh my god. Really? That's... Wow. That was... Even for you, that was bad. Oh, hey! I, I have, in retaliation, another suitably bad joke. Everybody gave Trump all kinds of shit for how's he going to pay for the wall. The man is a genius! Donald Trump is a genius because nobody, not one person in America, took into account that his wall is practically free. Because in, in, upon Donald Trump getting elected president, and you can see this on any internet news media outlet at all, the entire country is now shooting bricks. That's how we're going to afford it. Now we just need to find the coops. We're going to go get uh, light bulbs for the sign and get paint. Oh, cool. They weren't able to, the hot tub parts weren't in stock, so they should be able to have them tomorrow. But I don't think that makes sense. Um, Alright, well then you two tackled the sign today. Did yeah, you tell Moose? Yeah, we talked to Moose already. Did she say a bad word? No, she was like, that's fine. It's, it's, not, it's not your fault, it's not my fault, it's not her fault. That it's, makes it okay. It's, 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 it's all the good. Universe. It's, it's all it's good. Thanks, Obama. It's all good. Alright, cool. So we're, we're going to get bulbs, we're going to get your touch up paint and uh, uh, stuff from YouTube. Okay, you gotta make sure it's exactly. Yeah, I just right. took pictures of okay. everything. Okay. Exact color and number. Hey, are you going anywhere you can get? I'm going to Kendall and Home Depot. Where's my roll of skinny blue tape? Oh, you want the really? Well, skinny where's my? I may not need any. Where's my roll of skinny blue tape? I'm fine. All right. So you don't need any mask tape? No, I'm cool. Right. Okay, I got this. All right. Well, for that case, I all right. Thank you, gentlemen. There's no way this doesn't suck. This would be a hell of a lot. Oh, hey, hey. Okay. She'll be fine. Now, for the past couple days, you've noticed there's been like a, a masking party. And while I do deeply appreciate all of the help of, of everyone who's, who's masked on this project, and, and like, we're talking hours, like people have put a lot of work into this. I'm doing the final 
finish masking all myself. Yes? The that side is better cone now we got her foot. Okay. Where? Outside. She's literally just outside the door. She let herself out. Okay, but she's in the dog yard, right? She's in the dog yard, but she's not on her foot right now. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want to go deal with stupid? I'm not going to say. Unlike you, I was raised not an only child. I grew up in an environment where discipline was entertainment. And there are very, very few joys in my world as pure and lovely as watching my kid brother get his ass beat for something. This is primarily due to the fact that I spent so many times getting my ass beat for something he did. Uh, uh, I don't know what I need. Ah! <laughs> I have an idea. That'll work. It's really time for a new ID card, I think. That's, uh, it's not supposed to look like that. little hint, if you're doing masking, for a lot of stuff, you don't need really wide masking tape. It's Have a couple different sizes, like if you're doing vehicles and stuff. The smaller, narrower tape, this tape, you can bring in this axis, flat, you can bring around corners. This you can't, this wants to go straight. Are you having a stare down with the dog? Because you'll lose. Look at that sad dog. Show, show, show the internet the sad dog. Look at that sad, how could you be mad at that dog? She's the best puppy. She's so good. So you'll notice I'm just setting tight perimeters around what I'm masking because I'm going to come back with plastic and do like like a big just a, a draping bit but this I have to really paint the shit out of this I gotta I want to be able to mask down here but I don't even know if I can so I'll, I'll come back and look at that later for now I'm just going to do my my main perimeter stuff. I'm just going to put this here for safety because I put a lot of work into getting that hinge right and I don't want to screw it up. Hi puppy! You want to help? Mom's a dick. Mom's a dick to you. Just leave her alone. She's alright. Are you having issues? Are you helping? Alright, I'm going to be at this for a while and it's going to be not in any way entertaining. I want to put the tunes on. He is not going to save you. I'll save you because you're my friend. Yeah. I love this. Tune. Nobody else does. Just me and Donald Trump. Yeah, I keep my mouth and I think of it too. I understand, but we just we have to accept it. viewer mail today at the Geek Group. It is Thursday, November 10th at 1400 hours. And we have boxes. Yeah. Let's do boxes first. Hey, where's my... Oh, okay. Wow! I couldn't hit a bull in the ass with a snow shovel! I 
suck at this job. You guys need to donate more stuff so that I get back to being really good at opening boxes. This is from Denichi. There is no note. Thank you, Mr. DJ. There is. No! Oh my god, that's why it's different! It's not for it's it's paper towels that are not from Denichi. Does anybody want to take a guess? It's from Minkus. It is, it's from Minkus. Denichi was slacking. Oh my god. Denichi is buying us DVRs yeah. to upgrade the security system, so I ain't giving them any shit. So thank you, Mr. Minkus! Ooh. Paper towels. I don't know who put them on the table, but you turned my mat upside down. <laughs> oh, that was me. My mat is frequently green, but now it's black. You're in your black period. I know what black was yesterday. I'm in, I'm in my purple for mom period. But I'm in mourning because of our presidency. And mourning for America. Anyway. A lot of people are really, really upset. And like, a step away from marching the streets holding signs that say the end is nigh. Oh no, 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 what? They've been saying that it's really hard to write satire on things that you're pretty sure were actually satire in life. <laughs> True. I noticed this taking effect the, when I, I used to be a, a really ridiculously huge fan of House of Cards, and I quit watching that because the actual truth of American politics was more fucked up. So, yeah. Also, this is from Minkus. It's Minkus gets credit for it today. Alright. There's notes! There's no, oh, there are notes. They're on the bottom. <laughs> that lot of good that does me. Is it Minkus? The box upside down. Yes. Okay, it's from Minkus. A lot of people have been very vocal about Trump's whole building a wall idea. Saying, there's no way that we can afford this. It can't be done. It turns out that it can be done. Very inexpensively now, because the entire country is shitting bricks. <laughs> I haven't been able to do shit like this since Bush, and if that was ever a president for American comedians... <laughs> just Quick, everybody take off a shoe. <laughs> so this is from Denichi, and it is awesome. There will be a second part of this coming. But we're... <laughs> okay, you gotta get a shot of this this time. That's like the coolest thing ever. Comment with the science behind why that happened. What, this? It doesn't take a lot to entertain me. I'm a simple guy. I play with boats and model airplanes, okay? It really just, I'm a small step up from like tits and explosions, which I also enjoy. Thank you, Michael Bay. So, yeah. <laughs> so as you've seen, I'm trying like hell to stay on topic. As you've seen, we've been doing significant upgrades to the forklift, because mom. And as part of that, we figured, well, if we're gonna paint it, let's paint it awesome. And if we're gonna paint it awesome, Let's fix the lights on the front that suck really bad. And you can buy these crazy cheap. Like, this is the very definition. Oh, I need that back! Parts and pieces, don't lose those. And this is the very definition of, like, cheap Chinese crap. But for where we're putting it and what we're doing with it, it's awesome. And this is a combination of spot and floodlight, and this will, there will be one of these, there's two of them. These will go down the sides of the forklift, and we have shorter versions that will be going front and back, because the current forklift lights, the ones that, that came stock with... They, they love the... Twist. Thanks, Trump! Um, the riots are starting already. The, the current lights on the forklift, there's two just 
mincy, crappy little lights, and they, they're mounted on the front, and they look right through the mast, and they're completely useless. So we're moving the lighting up way high, with a much bigger spread, and a lot more lights, and a lot more point sources of light, and, uh, and we're putting them down the side so that you can see around you, because it is not uncommon for us to use the forklift after dark, which is pretty much half of the year here in Michigan, and outdoors. So, yeah. Um, keep an eye out on the blog today, I'll try and get shots for it, and I'll post pictures to my Facebook. We need to replace the wheels and tires on the forklift. I don't know if the tire and wheel come as a unit, or if you get... It, they're rim with, it's a steel rim with the rubber around it. How do you put the steel rim on it? I don't know, but that's what I've seen at Padmos being recycled, is just okay. steel rim with the rubber. Because we need, we need to get a set, a, like a full set of, of wheels and tires donated. I'd like to just swap them right out with some nice, sexy new ones. Our tires are all chewed to shit and completely garbage. Um, I'd like to replace them. Bonus if it comes in black. Or purple, for mom. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't happen, but I'll try for black. It would be cool. I'm really not that picky. Uh, the rims we're going to paint. That's why I'd like to start with new ones, because I just the current ones we have, the rims suck. And if I can do a whole new thing, let's do it. You can get them so, in white and dye, though. Huh? You can get them in white and dye, though. I'm not dying tires. That does bad things to tires. And the tires on a forklift lead a hard life. So, yeah, the tires on our forklift are its suspension system. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So we have, the lights are in. These are the side lights, front and back, I expect to arrive tomorrow, which will put them here in time to do the big electrical upgrades. So that's mm -hmm. your email for today. Thank this you. More. What? The box. This, it's the other one. No, the red box. Your mail is... Oh! <laughs> you just look inside of it. Look inside to make sure. Hey, there's shit in the box! I'm going to set this over here. So we have a system of I'm not allowed to talk about that. It's a secret. Nobody knows that it's VJ's birthday. He's very self-conscious about it. There was another package in there in the box. Hey, VJ! Yeah? I, I'm not going to tell anybody that it's your birthday. Okay. Come on up here. <laughs> I'm only going to tell... Get, get up here, Tiny. Alright, I'm only going to tell a couple close friends. God, this is hot. Just the frame. <laughs> are going to know about this. Everybody on the blog, both of you, um, it is. Hey, I do everything I can to keep dozens of viewers entertained. Dozens! Okay, um, you get your Leatherman. Oh, because this is your first year. You're relatively new. You still have, you know, the bright smile and sparkling genitals of the young man the way that you are. You get a flashlight. Oh. I wanted to get a flashlight that like fit you, but it turns out that a D6 mag light costs a bloody fortune. I'm sure. So yeah, but someday I will get you a mag bag. So we got you one that you can lose. Yeah, I got, I got you one that you just. Got Dude's got pockets bigger than a tent. Okay, like he's got three person pockets. I'm just saying. It's a thing. I love it. Happy birthday. How old are you? Uh, 23 now. You have. Do you have to, like, Wolfram Alpha off your license to be sure? Because you're, like, 23? I, it, so used to saying 22. 23 doesn't matter. You're cool. 25 matters. 21, 25 matters. And after that, you got shit till 65. And for your generation, it's going to be meaningless. You never get to retire. You're going to work until you fucking die. And Social Security won't exist by the time you're 65. So, really, you got nothing. It's okay. You're going to fall over dead work at 50 anyway. Nah. If I make it that low. <laughs> That's like six weeks for you, though. That's more hard drives. No big deal. Yeah, just keep dropping them. <laughs> <laughs> Jared and Chris to Stephen LeMay. It's fun. not hard drives. It's from Mark. Bad, bad, oh, God. You broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Buff ones. <laughs> Even more than one should have They're not just butt plugs. They're Australian butt plugs. You know what Australians use for butt plugs? Rams. It is hard, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we got these, which are cool, and we will use. Um, these, wow, those are expensive. Yep. Money was spent. Mm -hmm. These are these are sexy. I gotta I gotta show this to you guys. He actually bought out the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Mark on what we needed in order to get to the end of our live stream upgrades, and this was 
These are BNC cable connectors. And to connect one of these, you strip the cable, you stick it in, and with a special tool, you go ka chunk. I think this is a snap and seal? It's a compression. It, yeah, it's, it, it's a similar two way snap and seal, different brain probably. But yeah, to terminate a BNC cable is a time consuming process that really sucks. And the people that buy these are people who A, have to do a lot of them, or people who actually value their time. If you ever want to know exactly like the ratio of time to money, work out this. Here's, here's today's blog challenge. Work out mathematically. I want to see this. I want, I want this to be good enough to submit it to uh, R. They did the math, which is one of the best subreddits you could possibly subscribe to. The amount of time it takes to terminate a cable with a snap and seal BNC versus the amount of time it takes to terminate a cable the old-fashioned way where you're like crimping and soldering and all that shit for a BNC cable. And I want to know the difference in time, and I want to compute that out based on the price of these for the ratio of time is money. Okay, if time is money, how much money is time? Buy a minute. I want to know one minute is worth how much based on the price of these, because these fuckers are expensive. So, yeah, there we go. Math. Math! Yay. Also, curious to know your input. I have a weird problem. Come here. You, come here. You, Bellatini, come here. I need the three of you, gentlemen. Right now, they're all trying to figure out what the hell do we have in common. Come here. You can stand behind me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everybody's taller than me! Okay, I've just accepted that fact. No, you'll notice these gentlemen are my example for facial hair. We have everything from the amazingly proper, if you're going to grow a beard for November, if, because it's fucking amateur beard month, if you're going to grow facial hair, that's what you aspire to, that's doing it right. I know, it was die November. <laughs> and then there's Bruce. Gorgeous man. If you're trying, if you're going for a Gandalf thing, that's your path. And then there's VJ, <laughs> who's just... He had a phase in his life where he's like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to be a neckbeard. Because a lot of nerds just don't really give a shit about physical appearance. It's not, it's not a high priority for us. We live in a form follows function world. This is what happens when neckbeard just goes. I will give you credit, though, it doesn't actually connect. But there's like, there's like an inch. There's an inch where you've got fur that goes from top to bottom, just in oh one God. continuous fucking stripe. You've got like one inch, I think there's one swap of razor or just you won a little, it was the one thing where you won the genetics lottery. But this, this is doing it right. I have, in my entire existence, never successfully survived getting facial hair. It just doesn't work for me. The longest I've ever had facial hair was when I spent like a, a couple weeks in jail at one point. And that's just because I didn't get to shave. Every year since they started the insanity that is November, I'm like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. I'll, I'll you know, with solidarity, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot because why the hell not? And I, I, I'm known very much for liking to experiment with my hair, which is why I've had things like Technicolor Mohawks and whatnot. <laughs> so I try. I am currently, what is it? Thursday. So, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. I'm five days in to having facial hair. Oh my Christ! It's making me crazy! Bellatini. But I'm five days in! Bellatini has that by one o'clock. Yeah, I know, he can do that's like an afternoon for him. But I'm five days in, and my testicles are dropping any day now. But <laughs> I hit a whole new problem that I've never seen any of them have. Bruce might, but you can't tell because he hides it so well. So, the way my bathroom is set up, and just, I never thought of it! Fucking years I've been shaving, and I've never thought about this until like this week, like yesterday. When I shave, I lean over the counter. It's just heavy, because I want to get close to the mirror, okay? And I stick my chin up when I shave, so... And I do my thing, right? Well, if you shave, and you try to set a... It's, it, you don't notice this if you're clean shaving all the time, but if you try to put, like, to set a line off your jawline, and I'm trying to do it here, not under here, 
but like right at the jawline. So I'm like trying to set the, and I'm doing this, and what you don't notice is if you shave like this, you pull all the fucking skin down, and then when you turn your head back, like, if you, I noticed this, I didn't even blog last night, it made me crazy. If you move your head like this, and you're painting a thing, and the camera's back far enough that it can't tell that you're doing this and look like an idiot, like, it just, I look relative, for me, normal, shut up, and, and like, from across the room, you look at me, and it looks like my jawline is up here, like, I'm trying to do this weird cholo bullshit, of like, it's so fucked up. It's it's like way up here. And I just have this, whoop, and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with my head? And just, <laughs> and this morning I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, I look normal now, what? Oh, that's it. And I figured it out. And so if you're attempting to do Movember, when you shave, stand up straight, don't lean forward, and don't tip your chin up, and lean forward, and just pull it all tight, and just, just oh. So, yeah, this is what you're going for, for your various flavors of facial hair. My personal favorite is Mr. Bellatini. If you're ever wondering what the Geek Group standard is for, you're allowed to have facial hair, you have to be able to do that. That's the rule. Thank you, gentlemen. And thank you for joining us for viewer mail today. You guys have fun. I'm Chris, that's Bruce, that's Pelotini, and this is VJ, and it's his birthday. And by the way, something you should know is it's not VJ. They're not initials. He isn't like Victor James. He's actually named V-I-J-A-Y? Yeah. No. Yeah. And VJ was his name. So, yeah, and uh, <laughs> now it's stuck in your head. So, he's actually named V-I-J-A-Y, it's V-J. So, yeah, and he has a nine-syllable, unpronounceable last name. He's actually from Pakistan. <laughs> he, he's been here for two months, and his English progress is astounding. So, yes. So, the fuck with people, did they make your middle name a J? What is your last name? J-J. Uh, at Water Venice. At Water hyphen Van Space Nest. You have a hyphenated last name? Yeah. With, a space. With a space, which is very unusual. Really fun. Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's Atwater. Hyphen. Hyphen. Capital V. Capital V. Van. Space. Capital N. Capital N. Ness. Yeah. VJ. Atwater Van Ness. What's your middle name? Andrew. <laughs> VJ. Andrew Atwater Van Ness. The initials are Bob. <laughs> Wow! Did they name you by the inch or something? Just... He's got a midget cousin named Ken. <laughs> we'll be back after lunch. Have fun. And thank you, everyone, and happy birthday, VJ. Thank you. <laughs> 16, Wait, 12. it's not recording. Okay, there it goes. All right, time is 1612, and we do the last color. Coat one of purple for a month. Awesome. That's awesome. I like it. Very loud. That is mum purple. His shot's more important than your shot. My shot isn't rolling currently. <laughs> Oh, you know what I get tonight? Purple boy!
borders. I've had yellow, I've had black, now I get purple. I've never had purple before. Oh, this is going to suck. put so much work into masking that for just psh, 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 done. <laughs> so this one right here is quite possibly the highest effort to mask an area to be painted.
battery as hell. Shake it real long? Yeah, shake the shit up. Can you see the spatters? Yeah, yeah it's just an old fan. We just bought them all two days ago. Right. But that doesn't mean it's been sitting on the shelf for a while. I like it. That's that's an excellent idea. Though. Thanks. Go sell a bajillion. A bajillion? A bajillion. I don't think Jeff, I mean, he had a lot of bulls, but I don't think he had that many bulls. Oh, sell all of them. <laughs> Not that. It only took me four purposes. <laughs> Worth it. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm very happy. Not quite, but soon. After I paint this, I'll go bugger. Now the fun part! You know what I need for this? Rotisserie. I know a guy who did that with a car. He had a big GTO. He had to do a like frame-up restoration on it. Built a rotisserie. Two big carriages at each end, bolted to it, you could flip the whole frame of the car. It was awesome. There's parts of this I'm just going to have to... I'm going to have to flip it over to do. Ah, I got runs! 
Yeah, this is going to take a couple days to do. If I don't want to kill myself doing it. So I'm just going to paint this like this, and then I'll, I'll do another coat on it later. And tomorrow we'll flip it over. But i got to give it all night for it to kick. However, this is done. You can peel this if you want. Did you coat her? Huh? Ooh. Yeah, I've already done two coats. And the purple goes quick. But if you want to peel it, we can. How long since the last coat? Uh, last coat went on at 1653. Captain We're about to do the final pull and reveal on the main forklift paint job if you want to send a camera. So what size? That's huge. Three quarter ten. Three quarter ten by hundred Inch and five eighths deep. Okay. So I get inch and a half on this side. I sent you on Facebook already, so you have a good thing. Cool. Now it's in the block. Now it's in the block. I just I want to get all the way through the Nietzsche because he's going to buy two stainless lifting hoses. Start rolling. It's the last time we got to do this. On this, we've got to do that for two more days. With this, all right, peel it, be careful. We'll peel off this uh, shield because it's it's jank. We'll just redo it with that stuff. Right. 
stainless. You told me to seal it up good, that's what I did. There may be pieces of tape that just stay on the sparkler for the foreseeable future. Turn on the magnets. He told me to tape it up well, that's <laughs> what I did. You did. The magnets. All right, Batman, up. Just hold it up for a second. See? I'm going to hit this with the undercoating at some point, I think. Oh, yep. Get up in the nooks and crannies there. Nice. We'll clean off the battery really good too. Alright, down easy. And we'll clear everything just fine. There's some blue tape left right there. Just uh, putty knife this off because it's just jank, yeah. and we'll replace it with the uh, the new stuff. Get the tape in here. So we got a little touch up, fine detail work, but. Given the fact that we've completely masked this thing four times now, that's not bad. Pretty happy. I'm sure mom's happy too. She's gonna freak out. <laughs> She's gonna freak out. And I've been told that the best place in town to 
get it. It's from the Mexican bakery. And the only thing that can fall into your shape like a heart. <laughs> oh, you popped the things. Okay. You guys, you just, this is one of those things you just got to see. This is... So uh, there's a. What are those coated in? Is that jello or just Probably some blaze? Blaze. I don't know, but that's a. Uh, jelly. This is your favorite cake. It doesn't normally look like that. <laughs> we have kiwi, pineapple, strawberry, uh, peach, and then the little chocolate spirals. Shaped like a heart. <laughs> Fancy. Yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Happy birthday from all of us. Are we singing? No, no, we're going to be singing. Happy birthday. We, we, don't, we, we will applaud you. Yeah, in lieu of singing. Yay, DJ. We love you enough to not sing for you. Yes. <laughs> Introverts unite! Yay! So that's today's captain's blog, which will get edited after all of this because VJ and that's Rachel have right taken it. That's, that's the computer that I need to edit the blog on. So. That's hard to take. Here, I actually know this. Did you, did you go all the way across? No. Okay. This falls into the category of one of those skills that I have learned in a book and never done in real life. Heart shaped cake cutting? Heart shaped cake cutting. Um, I also completely know how to land the space shuttle. In the event. It's good to know that. That I need this, I can land I the know space shuttle. I'm going to take the spare one. There's only one way to shoot the space All right, you guys have fun. That's today's captain's blog, and we will see you all tomorrow. Oh, say hi to Billy Dorfner. Everybody say hi to Billy Dorfner. Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. Yesterday, Billy Dorfner was today's sponsor of the Captain's Blog. And I put the audio in, but I didn't edit the text. So it just said, it, I did this really, because I wanted to give him something he could use as a ringtone. So I did this really cool audio thing with his name. And it just says, sample text. Who is a recurring sponsor of the Captain's Blog. <laughs> so what you need to make sure you do before you release this blog, is we need to put the fuser back together, and he needs like 10 seconds of that, this is opener, because he's the one who came for the first Maker Fair. Okay. And he stuck him next to the fuser, and he learned all about it for eight hours straight for the first time. Okay, I remember. So he needs a little fuser in this blog? Yes. All right, I'll work on that. You guys have fun. Good night.